Hello, and welcome to another episode of the Berkey Cabinet featuring AJ and Jessica. Today's episode, we have an oldie but goldie. We have an old Forester, but the version we have is going to be the 1897 bottled in bond. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, um, <clears throat> Old Forester was founded in 1870. Uh, they have been on the market continuously for longer than any other bourbon. They are also the first bourbon that was sold exclusively in sealed bottles. Um, it is made in Louisville, Kentucky uh, by the Brown Foreman Corporation. They, uh, Brown Foreman also makes um, Jack Daniels, Woodford Reserve, Cooper's Craft, uh, Herradura Tequila, um, Chambord, Finlandia Vodka, and Corbel Wines. Um, uh, amongst their Old Forester uh, types that they make, they have uh, their regular Joe Schmo ones as their 86 proof and their 100 proof. Um, their 100 proof is our household bourbon a lot of the times, one of many that we have. Um, <laughs> uh, but they also make the 1870, uh, 1897, 1910, 1920, Statesman, and the uh, 117 series. Um, yeah, this one here is a uh, hundred proof. Um, from one I know, uh, each year is actually uh, based off of the recipes that they were using at that time. Uh, and that's why each one's named after a different year. Uh, but yeah, 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 yeah. What they, I think, uh, if I remember correctly, Old Forester not only being the uh, longest uh, distiller that's continuously uh, produced and been on the market and everything, um, they're one of the first that was actually accepted to. Um, keep producing uh, during the Prohibition era as a medicinal. One of very few. Very interesting. Cheers. Well, let's get into it and see how it tastes. That's a weird nose. <laughs> Got the wood. Maybe a little bit of hay. Maybe a little bit of cinnamon. It has the burn of a cinnamon. Mm. It burns my nose like what cinnamon would. Mm. Maybe an ever so slight like a like a green appley kind of citrus, light citrusy scent. Tucked away. Okay, in yeah. Now that, you, now that you say it, there is something that's tucked. Or maybe it's honey. I don't know. I'm going, I'm leaning more towards the green apple that you were talking about. Hmm. Anyway. Let's see what that's about. <laughs> wow. It's unbelievably smooth. I agree. <clears throat> I feel like it has way more going on in the nose than it does on the palate. But I have a strange aftertaste though. My aftertaste kind of resembles almost like bubble gum. Like, like a hubba bubba kind of thing. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's exactly <laughs> what I was gearing to say. <laughs> yeah, it definitely, it definitely has like a hubba bubba-ish kind of aftertaste. It does go down smooth. Um, you know, it's... Nothing that's too crazy to, to rock you around. A little heat down, a little heat coming back. Um, it smells hotter than what it actually tastes. Yeah, like it definitely singed my nose more than what it felt like it was going to do. Yeah. Definitely a little more lighter than what I assumed it was going to be. Yeah, it's definitely soft. Uh, it gives almost like this uh, slight oily texture coating on my mouth. Um, in my opinion, it does. 
I don't, that apple I was smelling, I don't taste. <laughs> yeah, I don't either. Like I said, it just switched to like a, a bubble gum taste. Yeah, it's like it, it starts off with a, uh, like, a vanilla taste almost, like a vanilla bean taste. And then I'm with you though. It definitely finishes on a bubble gum aspect, which is very odd. Uh. <laughs> yeah, it's, a, it's usually after that, the heat of its high point, when after you swallow, after that high point is when I start tasting the gum. Yeah, like once you start breathing and like really like, I don't know, maybe that oxidization of the flavors or something is like making it play tricks on us. Very unique. Definitely is. Not bad though. Mm. What would you rate it? Well, I'm not a big bubblegum fan, so... <laughs> um, truthfully... I mean, but it is exceptionally smooth and it does not taste like you're drinking 100 proof. So, I'm gonna say I'll give it... Um, 5.7. You know, I'm not gonna lie. I'm somewhere close to you on that. Um, but... I also feel like whenever we had this before, that it was better. Oh, really? Yeah, I feel like that when we first had this, however long ago that was, that the aftertaste wasn't a bubblegum taste. Yeah, but that's the, the difference in experience, I feel like. <laughs> After trying so many other things, we've been able to compare things better and, you know, develop a more in-depth profile or palette, I should say, and that's why this one tastes a little different than the originally the first time we had it, because well, I think the first time we had it was two years ago, two and a half, and we've had, I can't even tell you how many yeah, different ones. Yeah, we lost track. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, I think that's just a change in palette. I mean, just like we've done other shows before where, like, I've hyped it up because I thought it was absolutely amazing when I first tried it, and then we tried it again, and it was absolute trash, so... It's almost like that. Jefferson's Pritchard Hill. I'll, <laughs> I'll post it later. I'll, it'll be on the end. <laughs> um, but for me, I'll probably give this like a six. Mm. It's not nothing that's, you know, it's decent. It's not bad, but it's, you know, not necessarily that good either. Yeah. And what is this, a $56 bottle? Uh... It's either 52 or 56 because I look at the other one that uh, the 1920 I believe mm -hmm. and that one was like four or five dollars more yeah I think that one was a 60 61 and yeah I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's, I'm pretty sure it's under 60 bucks though for it's sure under 60 definitely yeah. under 60 and for a hundred proof you mean it's still it's still really good oh I'm sorry not good try it as a shot shot takers in this household so this is the true testament of glory <laughs> surprisingly for me that goes down smoother and there's not as much heat that comes back to you Ooh. I actually get more heat on that than when I do sipping it but what I like the most about that is that, first off, I actually pick up some of that green apple. In yeah. It. Not much, but it's ever so slightly, but it comes through a little bit still. Um, I still get that that vanilla bean. I still get uh, some of the barrel. But thank God it has none of that bubble gum on the back of it. <laughs> now, that's where I'm a little different. I still have some bubble gum on my back end. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. I'm glad I don't. It, but it's but it's more it for it's more faint. It's not mm. as aggressive as it was sipping on it for for myself. Mm, maybe that's why it's almost non-existent for me. So what would you give the the rating for the shot? It's way better as a shot. Um, I'm gonna give it. Six point 
four. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a six point four. That sounds decent enough. Uh, I was debating on giving it a six point six, but I don't like two numbers of the same touch and or close that close to each other, so I to lower it or raise it, and it's not raisable enough to be a six point seven. So uh, we're gonna go with six point four. Oh, because I can't do five because it's right next to six. And seven. Six point four. <laughs> All right. Well, I am gonna do that, and I'm gonna make mine six point five. Mm -hmm. It is slightly better than sipping on it, mm -hmm. but barely. Really? It, it's not. It's not like it's that much better. That's why for me, it only went like a half a point. For me, there's a significant difference, like taste-wise, between the two. Cause like sipping it, it's like it's, it doesn't taste like hundred proof at all. <laughs> The shot actually gives you that hundred proof feel. See, for me, it was backwards. Oh. It was. It felt like more like a hundred proof on the sip than it did the shot. Cause the shot was smoother, to me. Casing point that everybody's palate is different, <laughs> and we all work differently. So. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So on the next episode, we are we had, we made a list. Uh, I forgot what's supposed to be next. The Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. The Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. Didn't we already do that? What, what was the other one that we did? It was listed. On the list. Oh, well, it's down there then. <laughs> anyway, yeah, it's down there. so we're going to be doing an Elijah Craig Barrel Proof on the next episode. Mm -hmm. So stick around. Uh, it'll be out soon enough. Just be patient. And until then. Ja, mata ne! Oh, that's so stupid. <laughs>